Bloody Olajo uh, and we have cooked. Uh, we showed you how we went through the process of cooking uh, plantain cups with Asun. And Asun is spicy barbecue goat meat. Uh, <laughs> I know. So we have that and you can see the presentation. And this is how it's going to look when um, it's being served at a party, function, wedding, whatever you whatever event you invite Chops by Rara to. Um, it's going to be served like this and actually it's going to be well, you know, it's more decorated than this. I'm going to be tasting it to, tell, to give you guys the, the gospel if it's good or not. If it's not, well, sorry, but I'm sure it's be, to be good. Okay, but we're sitting now with the owner, Miss um, Folarera, to find out the inspiration behind, you know, what she does, why she does it, and, and more questions, you know, and try to get, you know, try to get into her brain as to, you know, because I know cooking is not always easy, but of course she loves, I'm guessing she loves to do it, and that's why she keeps on doing it. Okay, so Folarera, right? Why follow? So follow right? So is it two names or is it one name? One name. Okay. Um, what do you prefer? Because I seem like people call you Fola, people call you Rara. Is that I I actually don't really like being called Fola. I yeah. prefer you either call me by my full name Fola Rara, or you call me Rara. Fola is just I mean people call me Fola out of I don't know. I just they just call me Fola. But if I were to pick, I would pick either Rara or Fola Rara. Okay. All right. So Fola Rara. Okay. Tell me, what's the inspiration behind Chop Spirera? Inspiration behind Chop Spirera. I can tell you why I started it. My mom. Your mom? Yes, my mom. All those, see my mom wasn't, my mom isn't a caterer. She's not a caterer or anything. But um, growing up, I had it rough as a girl, the only girl in the house. So, you know, my mom, my, you, you cannot, it's not possible for you to, for my mom to be in the kitchen and you're sitting in front of the TV, not gonna happen. So <laughs> I hated, growing up, honestly, I really hated cooking. I really absolutely hated it. And then, I don't know, for some reason, I just liked it. You started cooking. And I started cooking. How long, you been, how long has Chops Barrera been in existence? Chops Barrera has officially been in existence for about a year and a half to two years. A year and a half, and you have so much success, so much so that I heard about Chops Barrera and we're doing this interview. So guys, if you're looking for a caterer to provide you chops, for your next event, you definitely want to contact um, yes, Chops by Rara. Speaking about that, we'll get to how people can find you, contact you on Facebook and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, I'm sure it's not been easy, um, you know, doing Chops by Rara. I'm sure any business, so, you know, it's, it's, what are the challenges you faced, you know? Starting when I started, I guess it was really, I did all the things myself. I had to go out and find the information. And to be quite honest with you, in as much as you feel the, all the information is out there, it's not really out there. Getting licensed and whatnot, it's, it's a, it can be a hassle. And then, of course, because there are certain things that you have to have in place for you to be licensed, those things cost a lot of money. So pretty much, I started this whole thing out of pocket. I'm still doing it out of, well, I'm not really doing it out of pocket. Not really, but you know, I started out of pocket, so there were days when I was really broke, but I was like, I have to do this. So that was probably, that was, that's probably the biggest, yeah, that was, that was it, plus, you really don't have people out there that do what I do. So it's hard for you to find somebody to ask. Like, hey, so I'm doing this. What do I need to do? How do I do it? So what do I need to get? Also, um, the pieces I use when I serve, finding websites, finding places where you can find it that are affordable, was, it's, it's still hard. I mean, then it was a headache. Now it's, it's still kind of hard, but once I find something, I just bookmark it like, yep, I will be back. Okay, so you ha you went through all of this mm -hmm. challenges, but you're you're here. Uh, what kept you going? That is a good question. Okay, well, that is a good question. What kept me going? Honestly, because I know this, what I'm doing, is a stepping stone to what I really want to do. Which is? <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Which is? Right? Um, I'm careful about telling people what it is. Um, I'm not a TV person. But it's bigger than this. It's bigger than Chops by Rara. It's bigger than Chops by Rara. It's something that I know that I can't do without God. So right now, I'm just looking at God like, all right, whenever you're ready. But it's definitely bigger than this. It's, this is a stepping stone, but this is, it's definitely bigger. Did, did you go for any professional training apart from that? Okay, but so when you're trying to get licensed, it was just pretty much applications? Um, yes, it's pretty much applications. And then before you can get licensed, they have to watch you cook. They have to watch you cook. 
So they're looking for things that, you know. To so make sure that you handle food safely, you know, the right temperature for food and stuff like that. You know the right temperature to keep food when you're using it, when you're not using it, and stuff like that. Now, if someone is watching out there right now, mm -hmm. because that's the whole premise of Body Lounge Show, someone is watching out there and they're thinking they want to start doing the same mm -hmm. stuff, they want to start cooking. Mm -hmm. What would you tell them? What would be your advice? What would be your, um, your two cents, so to speak? Um, before you start, before you put yourself out there, get all the information. Before you know for sure that this is what you want to do, get all the information. Talk, talk to somebody that's done it. Talk to me. Talk to anybody. Ask them questions. Ask a lot of questions. Ask and keep asking. Any, anything, you might think it's a stupid question, but I promise you, it's, it's probably not a stupid question. It's probably something that I had to figure out myself. So if before you think about going, because honestly, it's, it's not hard, but it's not easy. In the beginning, it's not easy at all. It's, it's rough. So it's not all about the talent that you have. You also need to get yes. information. Yes. You prep need, yourself properly. You need, you need to prepare yourself. You need to prepare yourself that you're going to be, it's going to be rough at first. It's going to be rough. I will tell you. I will tell you. But it gets better. If you have somebody helping you, if you have somebody you can ask questions, somebody you can look up to, somebody you can call and be like, hey, so, you know, I ran into this problem with blah, blah, blah. What if you don't have? You didn't have. Oh, I did. Oh, somebody that took talks. Oh, I didn't have anybody. I did not. I had to figure. No, that's why I say look for somebody. Because. But if you could, if you can't, like in your case, you were able to still do it. But I was able to still do it, and that's the rough part. I was able to still do it, but it was it was a challenge. It was. It was. <laughs> so the point is, it can get rougher than what you've been through because it can't. It, it can't be. It cannot be. But for it to be easy for you, just find somebody that you can ask. Contact me. I'll ask. I don't care. I can't, I can't serve the whole of Maryland, D.C. or Virginia. Contact me. I'll help you out. By the way, I'm going to go partner with her so we can um, do this together. <laughs> I am not partnering with ah. him. <laughs> I am not partnering with him. She is. She told me uh, you know, behind the scenes that she would love to work with me. Really? Uh, I'm about to taste the food. I'm about to see how this tastes. Okay. Oh, my God. Not wait. All right. So get a shot of this. You see that beautiful plantain bowl okay look at that mm. actually you're supposed to use your hand to eat it supposed to use your hand yes okay. i mean when you're at an event you're not I'm gonna british. i'm british i don't use my hand okay all right sure there you go mm. oh my god mm. this is mm. all right <laughs> this is delicious now for those of you that follow me you know i'm doing a campaign right now called belemos go with this, <laughs> Belen's not, <laughs> <laughs> not going anywhere. This is so good. This is really good. And it's just the basic stuff. Basic stuff. You just onions, pepper, some garlic, some ginger, and the Maggie. Mm -hmm. You want some? All right. Chops by It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for hosting us, for showing us how to make this lovely stuff. I'll be, I will be trying this myself. Um, <laughs> all right, so quickly before we go, there's a statement we make on the show that says, not all superheroes mm -hmm. wear capes. What does that mean to you? My mom is a superhero. Mm, why? Oh, my mom is a superhero. My mother is a superhero. Oh, she flies it, right? <laughs> Dude. Um, because my mother is a superhero. Oh. So that's, that, that's it, yes, my mother is a superhero. She is, I love that woman. To infinity and beyond. She is, she is my everything, so yes. She's my mom's a superhero. That's pretty cool. I'm touched. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Bloody Allow Just Show catches. Oh, by the way, tell people how they can find you. Right. You can find me on Instagram. I am on Facebook. I just got on Snapchat. Um, and you can contact me. My email should be below. Yeah, it will be. It will be. So it's Chop Spyrera on all, on all the platforms. Yes, Chop Spyrera. On Facebook, social media, all social media platforms. Yes. Okay. So yeah, Chop Spyrera, you can find her. And like she said, you can ask her questions. She would be um, absolutely I will be very open to answer your yes. questions. Okay, great stuff. Uh, follow her, Rera. No, I'll just call you Rera. Because I like that, how it sounds, Rera. Okay. Chop Spyrera, thank you so much again. <laughs> Lovely, lovely food. It was delicious. So guys, um, tune in. This is Bolade Olaja show. The next episode is going to be one and one with Bolade. That's the other show. And this show, as you know, is pretty much interviews. And the other one is me talking to you one on one and giving you my thoughts on different topics. You know, that, you know, success, believing, etc. So check it out and subscribe, like us, share. Let us know what you think. If you want to taste this food, if you want to actually find out if my mouth is burning, 
just put leave a comment in in there. And I'll tell you. Yes, it is burnt. I can just tell you now. It's, it's I'm dying. All right. It's spicy barbecue. <laughs> well, it's spicy. Yo. 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 It is not that spicy. <laughs> Yo. He's not used. To, you're not used to pepper. Period. Yo. It is not. It is not that All right. spicy. All right. It is not spicy. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Okay, so we'll be setting up this table. Uh, we'll set up, you know, this and that once it's done, and you see how it will look. Um, you see how it will look when it's been served at a party or at an event. Um, she's making something else: plantain, plantain balls. Like, you know, see, and, then she put, ever goes to waste. and then she puts meat in, in there no, and then no. fry it again. So she's gonna. I could actually put push it. in. You know what? Actually, let's, try, it. That. let's try that. So push in some meat in there. But it's not a lot because this is this is copyright Boladio Laojo. This is that. <laughs> do, if if I see anybody else do this, okay. Please go right ahead and do copyright Boladio Laojo. Okay, here we go. Right, so, so I mean, it's not covering it a lot because it's not a lot of my team, but and it's a really big chunk of goat. But but you can you can fry this and it should be. Uh -huh. Can okay, we're gonna add this to the presentation and see how it looks like. Okay. All right, this is I'm done. I'm excited. That's done. Put that in. Okay. 